So here we're going to look at some techniques for splinting uh, lower leg injuries. So first of all, toe injuries. There's really not a good way to immobilize a broken toe or a suspected broken toe. The main thing you want to do is keep the patient from walking on it. So this is often where patients are brought into emerge and either given a walking boot, which helps kind of secure the foot, um, or some crutches just to help them walk around. Now they should still be assessed because there can be further injury in there. So if a patient can't walk on their foot, then they should be taken to a hospital. But in terms of immobilizing you know, a toe during transport, it's really just helping that patient move on their uninjured leg. So they're not putting weight on that injury. So that's really all we're doing for toe injuries um, or, or very distal foot injuries. Ankles are gonna be one of the most common injuries that we see for the legs. And really for that, uh, what we need to immobilize is again above and below the injury. So you have your ankle joint, above it you have your shin, and below it you have your foot. So those are the two bones that we need to secure to keep that joint immobilized. Again, what I really like using is those moldable aluminum splints. Um, and we can do this very similar to the way we did a forearm injury. So again, splitting that splint in half, like a U, bending the splint in towards the middle to create that nice concave. So now we have our, our two C's facing the middle. You can kind of wrap this around the leg, hold it in so it's nice and secure. And then to secure this, we're gonna again use our elastic wrap. So usually I'll go around the foot first, just to kind of secure the bottom. And then we're just going to wrap around. So again, we wanna keep this snug, but not crazy tight. And we're just gonna keep going up until we've secured the splint. So keep going up here. And then once again you're at the top, you can either use the clips or tape or the tuck technique. So that's going to secure the ankle really well um, and just immobilize that from further injury. Then you can help assist that patient in walking so you're not putting any weight on that leg. So that's an ankle injury.